Hello people, it's King Dub the Seventh, and the first question in this video is why does Halo have microtransactions? Isn't that kind of like weird and why like what's the reason? What do you have that you can buy extra in Halo? Uh this video is not about Halo, this video is not about Halo, it's about a good game. Uh it's about a game called uh Destiny, uh and Destiny isn't all positive, we'll get some positives and negatives. But right now, it's gonna be mostly positives because Taken King has been announced, has been confirmed, and I mean it's not like we didn't know it was gonna come out before, but I saw some video and I was like, damn. Titan still suck. But uh doesn't have anything to do with anything. Actually that has a lot to do with everything, because that Titan Super that was some greatness for people who don't deserve it. I mean it's not that Titan themselves suck but it's like some of the people who play titans who are more it's this is not about titans y'all don't deserve spot light in this video um but destiny taking king yeah that was some good that was some good stuff to see uh but bungie has you guys have this weird like thing where you kind of like punish people who stick by your product right now like people who by Taken King right now can get Taken King Destiny and two other expansion packs for eighty dollars where let's see Destiny cost sixty dollars when I got it then I got the two I got the, like the season pass type thing so that was thirty five dollars that's ninety five dollars right there plus tax now I have to spend forty dollars on a Taken King that's like hundred and thirty five dollars plus tax That silence was on purpose. I just wanted to like let that sink in you guys' heads real quick, cause that's some bullshit. I'm not blaming Bungie for this. It is Bungie's fault because they decided to go with this company, but I blame this on Activision. Same people who make Call of Duty, or they they sponsor Call of Duty, I guess, and whatever. And Call of Duty and company, and Activision, and y'all suck. Uh, but anyway, enough about the pricing. That gameplay looked pretty damn cool. You got the supers, you got the 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 the, the stealth walker. What is that? What is that thing called? The night stalker. I said the stealth walker, stealth walker, night stalker, whatever. The night stalker. The night stalker looked cool as hell. It's the first hunter support role, and those motherfuckers need some support roles. They always all they do is kill. They're good at it. I'll give them that. They're good at killing, but that's all they do. They can't help nobody else. They can't do anything for other people. But now that changes. They finally get a chance to support the team. They can finally help the team. They go from being Carmelo Anthony to LeBron James. That's what we need for them hunters. Let's give them a round of applause to those hunters. So the next thing we got is we got the warlocks. We got the uh, the storm caller for the warlocks. It's simple. You just fly around and kill stuff with lightning. That's pretty damn cool. I can't complain about that. Being a warlock, I can't wait to use that. It's awesome. It's awesome. But, you know it's weird? Uh, never mind. I mean, I was going to say that the warlocks, all the warlocks, supers are based on attacks. But I guess you can help, like, reduce the cooldown of your teammates' uh, abilities with our super. But I don't think anybody really uses that. Anyway, anyway, so the last thing that we have is we have the Sunbreakers for the Titans. The Sunbreakers for the Titans are like crazy. That was some stuff that Titans, I was like, Titans, if y'all misuse this, then y'all got, you, you, I can't even talk right now. If you misuse this, then you don't deserve to play this game at all. Like, there's no way you can misuse this. All you gotta do is run around, throw hammers at people, and smack people in the face with your hammers and your knees that's all you got to do like there's no way you can only kill one person with this super like you'd have to suck a lot to only kill one person with this super but when i'm seeing this i see like titans having the stupidity of like uh, the blade dancers already like it's added to the already stupidity of the stupidity of the titans that sentence make any sense probably not but I'm talking about Titans and Titans don't make any sense with anything that they do so it's fair it's fair to talk about 
the thing that I'm most excited about with this... Well, actually, I'm going to get to that last. First, I got to talk about Oryx. Oryx looks like a beast. Oryx looks like an absolute monster. I don't know how he's related to Crota. Like, Crota was just this big green knight. He's like the Hulk with a... On, like, knight. He was a knight on on gamma radiation. It's what Crota was. And Atheon was just a big Minotaur. Maybe he was a big goblin. I don't know. But Atheon wasn't anything special either. But Crota... He actually looks like something we should fear. Like, it's crazy. It was like... Bungie was like, yo... Let's stop playing with these bulls and actually, like, give them something to, like, to fret about. Because none of these other people who we was killing, it wasn't anything special. Like, even... Even some of the, uh... Some of the bosses for the strikes look crazy. Like, they look absolutely, insanely crazy. The Dreadnought ships looks like something that I really am going to want to explore. And just take everything from it. Like, that's going to be some fun loot in the Duna Dreadnought ship. If it's even a looting area. Like, hopefully it's a special area, not just like a one mission thing. Hopefully they know what they're doing with that. That looks cool. And with this whole theme of the Taken being like Taken soldiers. What I'm hoping... Well, for those of you, first of all, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to leave a, like, a link in the description of the, like, all the Bungie stuff that I saw, like, all the Destiny gameplay videos that I saw. For those of you who don't know what the Taken are, Taken are people, or aliens, taken from the other alien races, the other enemies that we fought, and they've been amplified by the powers of darkness to be, like, these super soldiers. So, hopefully, going along with this theme... What we will see in the future is we will see the strikes of the past with a taken mode where the last bosses have been taken and been have been transformed with the powers of darkness of Oryx. That would be pretty damn cool. Do I expect it from Bungie? No, because they're not as like in, as intelligent as I am and they don't have the like the ideas that I have so like I don't expect this but it would be awesome to see like even I, they definitely won't do it with the rage I was just about to say maybe you could like take Atheon and actually make him like formidable but that'll that'll not that won't happen but this is something that could possibly be great like taking strikes that would be awesome like all, all strikes being amplified by the powers of the of orcs that would be cool now on to the thing that I was most excited about. The new PvP game modes. These look absolutely fun. But I'm not, Bungie, I'm not satisfied yet. The Rift looks cool. What Rift is, is Rift is like, it's, I won't say it's capture the flag. But it's, 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 a, it's an objective style game mode where you have to take this little spark from the middle. And that's in the middle of the map. And you have to take it to your enemy's base and you have to blow their base up with the spark. So it's something that Destiny has been needing in my opinion. Like they needed it heavy. And it's finally being added on to Destiny. But Bungie we need more. You just can't end with this. You need to add more game modes like this and you need to do it quickly. Because that didn't satisfy me. All that did was it just it made me like remember that you guys actually know how to make games and you know how to make PvP fun. And I'm expecting more from you now. So all you did was make the pressure more heavy on you. But other than the things that I'm saying now, like it's not much to talk about in. E3 besides the other videos that uh, games that I showed in the, my E3 video uh, I probably will be talking about that piece of crap game made by 343 uh, okay, I might if Halo goes to PC I will try Halo and I will give it a chance but besides that I'm not talking about Halo anymore in this video so you'll probably see it in a future video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, 
and give out your ideas on what you're hoping is in the Taken King, what you're disappointed in, what you hope you see, what you hope you don't see. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. Uh, peace, guys.